Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System and the word of the day is discouragement. So I was having a conversation and the person I was talking to has this amazing plan. And part of the amazing plan involves some amazing opportunities. And recently there have been a couple wrenches that have been getting thrown into the works. Now whether or not these wrenches are going to stay or not, we don't know. But it's been resulting in some inevitable feelings of discouragement and just some question of how is this going to happen. And what I realized was that I reflected on my own experience with discouragement in particular around a goal. And back in 97, when I was first really working on building up my practice as a healer and as a medicine tattooer and I was starting to really pursue this dream of mine to do this work, I had these opportunities that opened up and then basically shit happened and I hit these detours and I basically had to back out and turn around and completely regroup and do different things. And it didn't just happen once. It happened like in two different situations where I thought I was all set. I thought I was on the track. I thought I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. I thought everything was going to be smooth sailing. And then a storm came up and it was like, you got to turn back because there's just no getting through this. And I was discouraged. I was heartbroken. And particularly with the second, um, with the second uh, upset, I was especially despondent. I just didn't know what to do. So I walked away. I actually put the whole thing down and just was like, well, I have no idea how I'm going to make this happen. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to step back and see what happens next. And what happened next was that I found myself despairing and feeling deeply sad and deeply discouraged about the fact that this dream I had wasn't coming true. And what I realized was that the pain of giving up my dream was much, much greater than the pain of doing whatever it took, the pain of struggling and the pain of slogging through and going to whatever lengths I needed to, to pursue my dreams. So even though I was scared and I didn't know what to do, and there was a lot of feel the fear and do it anyway, I realized that it was something that I wanted badly enough that I was willing to basically crawl through the rubble of the detour and get myself to the other side so that I could make this happen. So in hindsight, that discouragement was such an incredible gift because if I had not hit those detours, if I had not been discouraged, I might never have known just how much I wanted my dream. And I might never have realized how tenacious and determined I really was to make it happen. If the way had just been open at the very beginning and it had been smooth sailing, I really might never have known just how much it mattered. And I might never have known how deeply committed I was to making it happen. So my question to you is, if there is a situation in your life where there's a dream or a goal or something else where you're feeling really discouraged right now, does the pain of giving it up feel greater than the pain of slogging through to make it happen? Or is this an opportunity to realize that even though you're feeling discouraged, maybe this isn't the direction that you want to go in. Maybe this is an opportunity or the universe showing you that you don't necessarily want it as much as maybe you thought you did if it was going to be easy. So 
If you feel like leaving a comment below, I'd love to hear what your experience with discouragement has been and how, if there's ever been a time when being discouraged has given you the opportunity to recognize just how much you do care or how much you don't care. And until next word of the day, I wish you peace.